What's going on, you beautiful people? I am Ben Pearshall, and your host today on your journey through the New Testament. Picking it back up with chapter 4 of 1 Peter today, looking at two sides of the same coin as we're about to read about serving for God's glory and also suffering for it. It's a fascinating look at kind of the character of God and then how we live it out in this world. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is chapter 4. <music> You know, one of the greatest lessons I believe a person can learn in this life is to be willing to be humble and serve others. Now, I mean, this is often contradictory to the way in which the world operates with, you know, climbing the corporate ladder, looking out for your own interests, and really doing your best to only advance yourself. Yet the kingdom of God works in a completely different way where we read about serving others, the last being first, and then using your gifts to help other people. Now, what I have learned personally over time is that when you do things in this biblical way, God still has a way of advancing you by the world's standards. Now, it seems backwards a little bit, but I believe God uses it as a test of faith to see if we're willing to do things his way or ours. All right, let's go ahead and read verses 7 through 10. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling, as each one has received a gift, ministering it to one another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Now, two interesting things that Peter mentions in these verses is that love will cover a multitude of sins and that each one of us has received a gift that we are to use in ministering to other people. Now notice again how all throughout the New Testament we keep coming back over and over again to this theme of loving God and loving others. You know, it's no accident that love is set at such a high priority because it's what is so important. Now as to the gifts that we are given, it's important that you personally learn what that is and then cultivate it to use it in helping others. So let me give you an example from my own life. I love working with teenagers. I don't know why, but it's just an age group that I'm drawn to. It's probably because I'm super immature. But here's the thing. I didn't only work with teenagers when I was a youth pastor. For years before and then even after that time, I've continued helping in youth groups, being a mentor to people, and doing what I can to assist others in reaching that age group. You know, I don't have to have any kind of special ministry title in order to use my gift. I just help where I can and when it's needed. Another example from my own life would be a video like this. You know, I love shooting and editing, so I'm trying to use that gift in order to help reach people for Christ. Okay, let's keep going here. Look at verses 16 through 17. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God, and if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Now as uncomfortable as it is to talk about sometimes, suffering for Christ is just part of being a Christian. Now depending on who you are, this will vary to certain degrees, but keep in mind that this was something that the early church was very familiar with. Now something interesting about verse 16 in this passage is that out Outside of the book of Acts, this is the only other place in the Bible where the word Christian appears in the New Testament. Christian, of course, meaning Christ follower, and this is what the early church believers were starting to be called. It's kind of interesting that over 2,000 years later, we're still being called the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to do it for us today with chapter four. Just one more to go, and then we'll be wrapping up tomorrow. Hope you're having an amazing day like I am, enjoying the good sunshine. God bless you guys. We'll see you back here soon.